Hello, hello. Today we are going to be going over how to clean oil paint brushes and your palette. So I'm going to start out with going over the palette pretty briefly and then um, we will go over the paintbrush cleaning because that's a little bit more involved. So the palette, I always just take my palette knife and if I'm going to be saving any of my paint that I have already mixed up from that session of painting, I go through and I just kind of pull it all together and put it in a little clump because if it's spread out all over the palette, it's more likely to dry before I use it again. So if I have it in this little clump, then it tends to stay wet and I am able to use it again. So I recommend doing that. And then I almost kind of organize them to one side of the palette. So you can see here in this video that I even have some other ones from another session up in the upper right and off to the right side of the palette. And those are from another painting and I have saved them in case I needed them if I'm not done with the painting. Then I use one of these little straight edge uh, scrapers so it's got a little razor in it and I go through and I clean up the paint that's on the palette. And you can use that to scrape up hard dried paint and just make sure it's sharp. Um, or you can use it to just scrape up the wet paint that you're no longer using or it's too muddied or anything like that. So some painters do recommend always mixing up your paint every single time, but if it's the something on a painting that I've been working on and I make sure I'm gonna come back and have that same paint mix that same color to touch up on it, I'm going to save my paint. <laughs> So once I have all of my paint put the way I like to, I actually store it in my freezer. I've got this scratch freezer and it's great to go in there and that keeps the oil paint from drying out until I get to use it again the next time. And then just make sure when you pull it back out that take it out. I usually like to give it about 20 to 45 minutes to just get rid of all the condensation before I start painting again. Okay, now it is time to clean up paint brushes. So I use a Silly Coil is the brand of what that is, and it's got Gamblin's Gamsol in it, which is their odorless miner mineral spirits. And I take the brush and I always go with the bristles and rub it along the coils and then take these blue paper towels and just dry out the mineral spirits. And that gets the excess paint out. Now, if I'm going to be using these brushes again, like later that day or the next day, I always just go through and take a little bit of linseed oil and just coat it on the outside and that's going to just keep it soft and protected. Now, if I'm not painting the next day and it's going to be a few days before I paint again, I go into the bathroom and I get everything clean. So I'm showing a variety of different soaps that I have on hand and I do prefer the Trakel brand of this linseed oil soap for oil paint. It really seems to get the paint out of the brush. So I just go in there, rub the brush into the, the soap and then rinse it all out. You should wear a gloved hand. I'm not always the best about this, but some of these paints are toxic and it can be absorbed through your skin. So it's always a good idea if you're using your hands to um, wear a glove. Then I use the brush restorer and dip each paintbrush into this brush restorer after I dry every single paintbrush. And here's where you're shaping the bristles and getting them back into um, just their shape on how they should be. This is like the conditioner for your paintbrushes. Bristles are hair. Uh, some of them are synthetic, some of them are not. It's hair. So just the same way we take care of our own hair, we have to take care of our paintbrushes. Then I put them all back in my adorable little mug and head back into my studio with them and I lay them flat to dry. And that's it. Now you just let them dry and your paintbrushes are going to be well taken care of and ready to be used the next time. I hope that you found this to be helpful. I know how hard it is when you're starting out as a beginner and trying to do oil paint and it's so intimidating for many people. And so I hope that this just takes that intimidation factor down a notch and allows you to just go forth with some confidence. Make sure you take a second to subscribe like, comment, let me know what you like to see. Let me know what you want to see more of. And I'm happy to see if I can make a video like that for you.